Dingo77 here. A lot of you have been requesting a tutorial on how to set up voice attack. You'll have to excuse me, I'm a bit crook today, but uh, I thought I'd got some free time today because I'm sick, so I thought I'd get on and uh, give you a bit of a tutorial on how to set up voice attack. Now I'm using this with Elite Dangerous, so this demonstration is for that purpose. But here is voice attack. Basically, you have to go to voiceattack.com www.voiceattack.com I'll put the link in the description and if you go here to purchase it's only eight dollars if you click on purchase you can purchase key it's eight dollars right there let's uh, see that there we go so it's very very good you'll uh, get your registration key via an email uh, a lot of support on the forums uh, it's also got a handy how to and what to do with all the links there. Now, with your computer comes a computer voice called Microsoft Anna. And I'll also put in the description a link on how to uh, access free voices, if you like, with your Windows version. Windows 7, I believe you only get one, and you need to do a little bit of registry editing, which I won't take you through right now on how to unlock those voices. However, what you can do uh, if you have Windows 8 is use a choice of voices. Another place you could also go to, which is what I do, is go to Ivona here, www.ivona.com. I'll put a link in the description. And here you have some great voices. Personally, I'm using an Australian voice because I'm Australian and I really like it. I uh, don't even know if it's there in the demo, but uh, that's what I've done. Uh, there we go, there's English Australian, and I use Nicole. So let's uh, test that out. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I've on a text-to-speech voice developed with Bright Voice Technology. You won't believe my voice isn't human. Listen to me now by typing some text and clicking play. Okay. Other voices that you can use, for instance what Fiery Toad uses, is a British voice called Amy. Let's test that one out. Hi. I'm Amy, one of the Ivona text-to-speech voices created using Bright Voice technology. Enter here any text and click play. So as you can see, the English speak very proper English. It's great stuff. Uh, they're a little expensive. Uh, may not be what you're after. But if you wish to go that option, that's what you can do, is to come here. Now, setting up a profile. What we do is we start voice attack. So you download it, buy it, install it, and it comes here. The paid for version of this will give you unlimited profiles and unlimited commands. You can get a trial, and the trial will limit you to around 20 commands, I believe. And I think it's, uh, it could be like 21 day trial. So $8, go and mow a lawn, wash somebody's car, don't buy a latte, save on the chocolate cake for the day, get yourself voice attack. It makes Elite Dangerous completely immersive and wonderful. It's not so much for the skill of flying better or having an advantage. Sometimes just you know setting up your hotkeys on your, on your joystick or your throttle can be a lot better. But this works marvellously and it's just a unique experience. So once uh, you have it set, basically it's set to active window. What I do is I minimize it, then start up Elite Dangerous, and that's my main uh, process. So it works for that. I've called my profile Elite Dangerous. You can import a, somebody's profile, and you can also create a new profile, and that's what you want to do. I've also used it in ETS2 Euro Truck Simulator. So what you want to do is to create a new profile. We'll call it Elite Dangerous. You can also export it if you want. It'll put it, say, on your desktop or in a folder, wherever you want, and you can uh, link that. Let's uh, create a new profile as an example. No, actually, we'll work on uh, my profile for Haley. So we're going to edit that. And what happens is when you create a new profile, you basically want to edit the new profile after you call it something and you want a new command and you basically when you add a command 
you can have when I press or when I say. Generally I use it with voice commands but I can have it where if I press a button this will do something. You'd think why? Why would that be? But you can have anything kind of assigned. It can work anyway whether it's a mouse click however you like. But I like it with voice commands so I have it when I say. And we want a new command so we can say greet, uh, let me type correctly, greet the YouTube. My pleasure. There we go, Haley's talking right now, <laughs> viewers. So I can say that and then you can have a key press. Now if we click on key press, any button on my keyboard will allow me to assign that key. And I'll show you how to do that in Elite. The other way that you can do it here is to have a mouse press and there are many options set up in there and the other thing that you can do is to have other and you have a drop down box here by default it's normally somewhere around here start a process by name ignore an unrecognized word or phase make voice attack stop processing all commands you can even have it play a sound I think it's got to be a WMV file um, you can switch to another profile you can have all sorts of things set how you like but if you have a computer voice that you have active you can say something with text-to-speech so we select that down here is your default voices and I'll show you where that is in a minute but if we drop this box down I have Ivona Nicole Microsoft Anna is the default voice and these are the free voices that you can unlock via the link that I'll give you in the description and they're not too bad as a demonstration we'll put on Microsoft server speech text-to-speech voice English EN AU Australian Haley. This is where I got uh, Haley's name. Even though I use Ivona Nicole, Nicole, I still call her Haley. So let's uh, put that up. Greetings, uh, viewers. How are you all? And let's test that out. Greetings, viewers. How are you all? Let's put some pronunciation in there and a comma. Greetings, viewers, how are you all? And we can put a question mark at the end. Greetings, viewers, how are you all? Okay, so that's that, but if we do the Ivona voice, as an example, you'll see the big difference. Greetings, viewers, how are you all? Okay, we can also spare that down. Greetings, viewers, how are you all? Or we can do this. Let's put a space in there and then a comma. Greetings, viewers. How are you all? See? So you can play around with it to make it sound just that little bit better, and you can also do your volume. So it's very, very good. By default, uh, Ivona Nicole is my voice. There are others that you can use, like the uh, English Great Britain Hazel, Microsoft Server Speech Text to Speech. Greetings viewers, how are you all? You can hear that sounds very quality. We also, and it's free that one. And we can do Zero Pro. Zero Pro is very quality. Greetings viewers, how are you all? As you can see. So there's multiple options you have to spend money, not spend money. It's up, really up to you and what you like. As you get used to it, you will want to pretty much buy Ivona voices because they are class. So that's how you set up a command. Here is my profile. I can't, unfortunately, I think expand this, can I? Yeah, I can, there we go. This will make it easier for you. So let's expand that out. So you can see how many commands I've actually got in here. I've been adding over time. I like to have a bit of random chat, stuff like that. So as you can see, I've got where have you been? And uh, I've got multiple responses that come up. But let's say threat. So we have threat. When I say threat, press H key and hold for 0.1 second. If we look at that, I've selected the H key by pressing that on the keyboard and you can adjust the timing here. The other thing you need to do is make sure that Windows Game DirectX is selected. Also start your voice attack game or, or software with run as administrator. Just right click it on the 
shortcut and run as administrator. So these are things that make it work. I also have Haley respond to me telling me that she's uh, completed what I've asked her to do. So I have her say scanning nearest threat. Scanning nearest threat. When I say that. So it's pretty easy. So I'll just show you in game how we can do this. So I'm just going to click cancel and we've got it here running. We're going to minimize this and we're going to start Elite Dangerous. So the first thing we do is we don't click online. We just go straight to combat scenarios. This is when you're setting up your uh, missions. I haven't obviously completed all the missions, but waste disposal is the first one and it's a non-threatening mission. You will not be attacked by anyone and you'll be sitting in space in a sidewinder. It's a great place to test out your profiles. Obviously, uh, things like uh, requesting docking and stuff like that are a bit more complex. But this is just a basic tutorial. So we can hit escape and we're in. So what I want to do now is to actually uh, bring up here voice attack and we have it up here. I've got it in windowed mode so I can show you this and this is how easy it is to set up. So I'm in the game if we uh, click on the game there we are we're back in. If I, I haven't got track IR on but uh, you can see I can press keys and access things and look around. But as an example let's move this over and we want landing gear. Haley, What is it now? Deploy landing gear. Deploy landing gear. Landing gear deployed. So as you can see up the top there, it's just deployed the landing gear. Retract landing gear. Raise landing gear. Landing gear raised. So it's only organized to actually respond to what I ask it to respond to. If I say something like, put up the landing gear, it won't do it. It has to be raised landing gear. So the other one, if we scroll down here, we can see our ship lights. Haley. Yes, Commander. Lights on. Lights on. Ship lights switched on. Lights off. Ship's lights switched off. There we go. So we can do that. So it's very easy to set up. And how I do that in game is we hit escape. We go to options. We go to our controls and we scroll down and look for the necessary assignments. As an example, landing gear is the insert key. So now bringing up Ivona to, we want to edit our profile and we want a new command. And what we will do, I'll show you landing gear if I can find it. I've got so many uh, responses here. Here we have raise landing gear. It's the same button as actually lowering the, the landing gear. Um, I believe it's deploy landing gear, isn't it? So it might be there somewhere. We just need, there it is. So we double click to edit it. And you can see here, press the insert key. So I've done deploy landing gear. I've put a key press in. If I do that, you can see um, it's the insert key. It should say anyway, but we'll double click on that. It's the insert key. It's listed here as to what it is. We can do a combination of Control Alt Shift and Windows key, but we've done the insert key. Okay. We've also then gone to the next bit here, which is other. So you can do multiple. You could have five commands all in a row with spacing, if you like, between them. But I've done for Haley to say landing gear deployed. And basically that's it. You click OK. You click done and then you can test it. So to test it we just click somewhere on the uh, desktop which is the game because it's in windowed mode and there it is and we click cancel we click back to pause menu and resume Haley I am right here commander deploy landing gear landing gear deployed raise landing gear landing gear raised deploy weapons weapons deployed stow weapons Weapon stowed, Commander. Thank you, Haley. You're welcome. So, very, very easy to set up responses while you're in game. Okay? I highly recommend that you give it a shot. Voice attack.
very, very, very easy for you to use. What you do have to do, and this is something, I'll close this for now, before you uh, actually start it and work with your voice commands, what's recommended is you go into your control panel, come down to, uh, where are we, I think, I have to remember, I think it's called ease of access here. Um, I believe that's the correct place, so we'll go ease of access, and what we're looking for is start speech recognition. We'll just go speech recognition and we can see that we've got advanced speech options. We also have start speech recognition. Start using your voice to control your computer. But you can take the speech tutorial, learn to use your computer with speech and you can also set up your computer to work properly with speech recognition. Go through, train your computer to better understand you. This is something you should do three times at least I believe. Uh, first couple of times will take a little while to catch on but the more you do the tutorial, the more you do this, the better it gets at recognizing your commands. Once you've done that you can go into advanced speech options and you can see here in speech properties can I... I don't think I can do that, no. I was going to expand that. But you can see here my microphone's configured but I have language Microsoft Speech Recognizer 8.0 for Windows. Okay, I've got the US, but you can actually uh, get a pack for this if you need it. So I have the voice selection is by default Ivona to Nicole. Okay, you have selected Ivona to Nicole, and I can set up the voice speed right here. There is other little options that you can set up. But I can slow it down so we can preview. You have selected Ivana to Nicole, Australian English female voice, 22 kilohertz, as the computer's default voice. So if we speed that up, say about here, and preview. You have selected Ivana to Nicole, Australian English female voice, 22 kilohertz, as the computer's default voice. She sounds a bit hectic. Let's put it down two notches. You have selected Ivana to Nicole, Australian English female voice, 22 kilohertz as the computer's default voice. And we can go back and make it slower. You have selected Ivana to Nicole, Australian English female voice, 22 kilohertz, as the computer's default voice. We can also bring that up another two notches. You have selected Ivana to Nicole, Australian English female voice, 22 kilohertz, as the computer's default voice. Okay. So you have many options. If we go to settings here, hopefully that'll bring something up. This is the Ivona. When you install Ivona, you will get these options. You know, the lexicon, setting up a whole bunch of stuff. You can set up um, pauses between sentences. You can kind of pause between paragraphs, make it up. But that's really for when you're doing uh, text documents and things like that that you need to uh, read. Uh, very easy to install. All you have to do is look at Ivona website and it will give you all the tips and hints that you need. So we're on the settings page here and I can actually make it long, normal, you know, custom, things like that. It's, it's quite nifty what it can do. So we've got that all set up. If we go down to speech recognition, we can have number of spaces to insert after a punctuation. Uh, pretty much train profile. This training your profile will improve your speech recognition ac uh, accuracy. This is another place where you can set that up. Okay, so make sure you come into here. Again, it's in new control panel, ease of access, speech recognition. Give it a shot. Give it a test. You'll love it. All right. Thanks for watching. Hooroo. Hope it was helpful and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.